My name is Dr. Dodvan. I'm a board certified plastic surgeon here in Los Angeles, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My practice primarily focuses on plastic surgery of the breast and body, with a specific focus on gynecomastia and F to M top surgery. So in the spirit of the new year, I thought it'd be good to go back and revisit some of the cases that I'd done in 2022 and give you some updates about how those patients are doing now. So this patient came to me for F to M top surgery, and that's female to male top surgery. Now, what I wanna stress about this surgery, it's not a breast reduction. This is chest masculinization. And there are several things that differentiate a male chest from a female chest, not just the size. It's the areola size, the nipple size, but also the placement of the areola nipples that differentiate a masculine chest versus a feminine chest. So let's take a look back at how surgery went. Now the technique I elected to use in this surgery was a double mastectomy with a free nipple and a free areola graft. Now, the reason for this is because the excess skin would mean that I would have to tighten that skin up to give a more masculine shape. The nipple and the areola grafts being done separately were because this patient's native nipples were much too large for the normal size of a male areola. So I actually ended up taking a small piece of areola and a small piece of the nipple and grafted them together to give this outcome. So in the original video, the after results were shown around five or six days post-surgery. Now, if you wanna see that original video in its entirety, make sure to click on the link below. But here we have the patient coming back around four and a half, five weeks out from surgery. And what you can see already is a significant improvement in the chest contour. It looks masculine. The incisions are very symmetric, appropriate color for being only four or five weeks out from surgery. And also take a look at the nipple areola grafts. They're in the proper position for a male chest. This patient is ecstatic with the results. He's able to wear shirts that he's always wanted to wear without ever having to wear a binder again. So here the patient is back at six months post-surgery. You can see the chest contour, still fantastic, very masculine chest. The incisions are fading as they tend to do around six months. And the nipple areola grafts have fully healed, 100% take. This patient did very well with his surgery. He can go on with the rest of his life, never having to worry about wearing a binder, worrying about his chest. It's a complete success. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want even more information about gynecomastia surgery or FTEM top surgery, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, my Instagram, and my TikTok. There you'll find a whole host of posts, behind the scene footage to help answer any further questions you might have. Till next time, guys.